Today we're going to do a mileage test on my 96 Dodge Ram 3500. This is a 12 valve Cummins with compound turbos. Recently hit the dyno, had uh, 542 horsepower and I think it was 1310 foot pounds of torque. Uh, that's with both 37 inch duals on there. We are going to go out and hit the highway and uh, see what kind of mileage this thing can put down. I did a test recently uh, on a bit of a road trip I was on and was absolutely shocked to discover that this thing was getting 26 miles per gallon uh, doing 60 miles an hour on a, fl on a flat straight highway. Um, that is so far beyond what I was expecting, um, but I'm going to jump in and uh, just show you briefly some of the mods I've done to this truck that might have an effect on that number. All right, so first of all, this thing is, of course, a 12 valve, P pump 12 valve, as you can see the P pump right there. Um, some of the modifications that might be having an effect on mileage are uh, the compound turbo kit. This is the ultimate towing compound kit from Power Driven Diesel. I've also got the Banks Twin Ram right there. I don't know if that's going to make a difference on mileage or not. Um, but increasing airflow possibly makes it so that you have to give it less throttle. I'm not actually sure. Uh, another thing is I've got this uh, AFE Blade Runner GT intercooler. Again, not sure if this is going to affect mileage, but the, they claim that it flows, I think, around 30% better than stock. So who knows? That might make an improvement. And then finally, the thing that's probably making the biggest difference is uh, that this truck has the Dynatrack um, free spin hubs and Dynatrack or Dynalock hubs on them. Okay, and now a couple of things that could be hurting mileage. As you can see, this thing is a dually. I drive with the mirrors up because this truck is over 100 inches wide and I'm definitely in a city where a lot of the time, um, as you can see, the parking line right here next to the tire uh, it's quite common that i'm in driving situations and there's a k rail right there or some sort of curb or something this truck is super 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 wide i mean uh, also on top of that it is on 37s and furthermore the way i've got the fueling set up on this truck is pretty aggressive i actually have a uh, afc live from power driven diesel and um, i do not have it hooked up right now but we're going to do some mileage tests once we get a baseline in this video um, this truck is the fueling system is cranked to the max um, the uh, p-pump is turned up to 460 cc's so the barrels have been racked i've got the afc all the way forward the star wheel maxed out which i think is forward it's been a while since i did that um, it's uh, also got the pre-boost screw. I've got a bit longer one on there and there's no nut. The, the pre-boost screw is just bottomed out all the way. Um, this setup uh, really likes a lot of pre-boost and it just seems like the more I give it, the happier it is. Basically a smoke-free truck. I mean, you can make it smoke. There's mild haze in some situations, especially when it's cold, but for the most part, you can drive it fairly quickly with basically zero smoke. We'll probably do some uh, videos about that in the future, but anyways, that's enough yakking. Let's uh, load this thing up and uh, head out to the gas station and uh, fill her up. Dollar ninety-seven per liter Canadian works out to roughly uh, six dollars U.S. per gallon. Pretty disgusting right now. All right, well the truck's all filled up. I uh, did the method where I uh, fill her to the top until it clicks, and then count to thirty, and then do it again until it clicks, and. Uh, Let's head out on our first chunk of this trip, which is going to be about uh, just under a hundred miles round trip of mixed driving, meaning uh, I got to go all the way through Kelowna, tons of stop and go at, you know, 30 miles an hour around town speed, and then uh, quite a bit of stop and go at about 50 miles an hour of uh, kind of like a highway. 
highway speed and then we'll go through peach land we'll be out on the highway there's a couple hills it should be a really good real world test folks well we're all back here uh, it was a beautiful drive uh, did see a little bit of rain but overall it was pretty nice we went a total of 97 miles and we used just over six US gallons and that works out to uh, just over 16 miles per gallon oddly enough uh, that is uh, the same mileage that we got uh, f between uh, Kelowna and Hope in a, a few videos ago and that was a really really challenging conditions we're talking you know up over 4,000 feet of elevation heading out of town within you know the first hour or so um, down and up and down and up lots of uh, working lots of boost getting the truck up over those hills so uh, you know, the fact that uh, a challenging highway situation comes in at 16 miles per gallon, and today was a really challenging mixed driving situation. Tons of stops and starts, um, some of which were at 50 miles per hour, um, you know, which is kind of approaching highway speeds. And uh, it uses a lot of uh, diesel getting this thing up to speed. It's slightly under geared, so uh, that's something that's gonna give us an advantage uh, when you get up to highway speeds and stay there, but stops and starts, you know, with 
almost 800 pounds of wheel and tire on this truck i mean that is definitely going to have a serious effect but regardless uh you know we're going into a very strong headwind on the way there ups and downs uh up and down a bunch of hills that's pretty solid numbers 16 miles per gallon honestly i'm not sure that uh, either the xterra or my dakota rt could have even done that good in those situations maybe that's something we'll have to test but you know considering uh this thing has uh you know, almost three times the wheel horsepower of the uh, Dakota and probably um, close to five times the torque, definitely over four times the torque. You know, to be getting better mileage is just so impressive. This truck is an aerodynamic nightmare. I mean, it's a dually, it's slightly lifted, three inch lift kit, but 37 inch tires, like how is this thing getting even acceptable mileage? It's just amazing. Uh, 12 valves and diesels in general, is just incredible what kind of mileage these things are capable of. Um, you know, uh, I live in BC, which is pretty much entirely covered in mountains. So the idea of, you know, long trips of sort of flat straight highway isn't something that really happens that much there's a little bit of it here and there but not much and um, you go down on a big road trip in the states heading down the i-5 or something like that there's definitely some hills on there but i can't wait to uh you know put a few tanks in this thing you know in optimal conditions and really see uh, what our max mpgs are going to be the highest i've seen on this truck was 26 miles per gallon and uh, I can't imagine it getting much better than that, but that is getting into pretty astounding uh, mileage conditions for something like that. I mean, that's just amazing. Truck's probably, you know, 7,000 pounds at least, uh, you know, with a bit of stuff in it and me and a tank of diesel and that. And, you know, to think about getting that kind of mileage with this truck flying down the highway is just nuts. So anyways, that was a fun one. Uh, if you guys have any ideas or videos you want to see, please let me know and we will try and make that happen. Uh, I'm going to head home now and... Uh, get back to it but uh, i hope you guys have a good day thanks for coming along and um, give me a subscribe and a thumbs up and please uh, ring the bell to be notified and we will see you on the next one